Looking at on the news, you don't actually get what it's like here. Yes, yeah, yeah. You've you've obviously never seen it to this extent. Never, ever in my life. No, uh, it it's come up to the the hedgerow out there. Yeah. We're on high ground here. You know, it's ten foot deep out there, and it comes up and it goes away very quickly. Yeah. But never normally on the arable side. That side is arable side. That side is older pasture. It's usually two fields down and then the older pasture starts and it will flood that little bit and then the pumps down at Northmore will suck it away. It, you know, that's the usual. This is nowhere near the usual. First We've lost absolutely everything this time. Um, so yeah, it's just... Do you have any expectation as to how long it will last, the water? Uh, if it stops raining about six weeks to eight weeks. But it isn't, it's just starting raining now. Starting, yeah. And they think they're talking of another front coming through Friday with mm. inches of rain. Well, we had two inches on the hills last night, which means it will rise another eight inches here tomorrow. So, it's you know, that sort of delay, that's the sort of it. delay yeah. Uh, when we first flooded, we had, or not when we first flooded, but when it flooded earlier, uh, sort of midway, uh, we had an inch and a half on the hills and it rose eight inches on the moors here. So, because every moor is full, this is the last place before Bridgewater, basically. And that's why they're putting so many pumps and resources, bulldozers, building flood banks to try and stop it from going to Bridgewater now. And just to see these properties, these old houses have been here for hundreds of years. You know, going through it, it's, uh, there was a property on Mum and Dad's, where Mum and Dad's house in the Doomsday. But no, you know, they you wouldn't keep building on a on a site if it flooded. Um, yeah, so that's what it is.